the fluffiest omelet you will ever eat in your entire life. La Mère Poulard's version of their omelet. Maybe like, maybe choked a little bit, you know, just to really feel the urgency of how good this omelet is. The monks are weeping. The monks are weeping in Mont It can't be beat. It cannot be beat. Bonjour, ah bonjour, bienvenue dans un autre épisode de Food Rocks. Bonjour, my name is RJ, R RJ, and welcome to another episode of Food Rocks. Well, today we will be making uh, an omelette. <laughs> This is Food Rocks World. Wow, world. Mama, not just America, because we are the dumpster fire of the world. So today we are making a very special recipe. We are making the La Mer Poulard's version of their omelet. Now, I went to France for my honeymoon. <laughs> When we went to Mont Saint-Michel, uh, we had this omelet and it was truly like, I guess I had no idea that this was a thing until we got there and we were like, oh, this looks like a nice restaurant we should go into. And then we were watching these beautiful Frenchmen <laughs> making, first of all, whipping eggs as if like they were angry at the world. The fluffiest omelet you will ever eat in your entire life. But it is also the most buttery omelet It is so good. And famously, egg is my favorite food item of all time. So like, oh my God, this omelet is so good. I knew that my attempt to make this at home was not going to be successful at all. It's not, it's just not gonna happen. But I wanted to like attempt it and see how far we could do. A little bit of Mont Saint-Michel in our own little kitchen. And um, you know, it was fine. It was, it, I'm gonna be honest right now, it was fine, but you'll get to see it just a little bit. So let's go to the kitchen or as my friends in France would say. Allons à la cuisine. Allons à la cuisine. You don't say the S. Allons à la cuisine. First things first, you are going to need five eggs. I, so traditionally this, this omelet is made in an open flame. You literally stick a cast iron in the middle of an open fire and I do not have that in my oven. So I opted for the best thing in the oven in the broiler that, uh, to get it to the hottest that I could get it. And I left my cast iron in there so that the cast iron itself was already like super, super hot. In hindsight, I probably should have left it there for a longer time to get it really, really hot. But hey, we live and we learn. I have my French whisk that I bought from Sur La Table. Now I set up a timer to make sure that I am beating this for two minutes because that's what I remembered the server in La Mer Poulard to told me. But I don't think it was actually two minutes, but whatever. We made it for two minutes and it was still fluffy. So enjoy um, this live cam of me. <laughs> beating this egg my arm started to hurt so bad and honestly like obviously the people that make it like this is their job this is their profession to have strong french forearms that like i just wanted to be held by maybe like maybe choked a little bit you know just to really feel the urgency of how good this omelet is <laughs> it's just not a good look for me sis I was there for my honeymoon and I was already, you know, I was already in heat. So uh, the Frenchman making these omelets did not help. I had a great time in Montsant Michelle. Can't wait to go back. But now that your eggs are finished, um, this is really like the hit and run, hit and miss test kitchen type situation where you really, I mean, honestly, When you have this hot cast iron, you just slack on some butter, make sure it's melted and make sure it's spread all over the place because you don't want it sticking, obviously. But ideally, the pan should be so hot that that butter immediately just starts melting. You put in your egg and then it's like, it, it like 
instantly peels off because of just how hot and how buttery it is. That's not really quite how it turned out. Um, it was a little, oh no, I unraveled. It was a little um, messy just because I can't, I couldn't, not only were, are my oven mitts not real oven mitts, um, they're like potholers. I have to kind of like make sure that the sides aren't sticking and that you're peeling it up and out and up and out. And you really want that fold. And ideally it should be like this thick, right? And it ended up being like this <laughs> because it didn't really have that much volume in it. Once you have that kind of like flipped over and ready to go, that's it, you're done. That's literally it. This omelet is just that, it is just this. I did have a little bit of fleur de sel, um, so I did kind of like sprinkle a little bit of that at the top for that extra salt. And I just chopped up a couple of chives to kind of drizzle that on top as well. I tried to make like a little side dish for this. And um, so I made like this little bake with scalloped potatoes. And then in between the scalloped potatoes, I put in slices of brie cheese and just like a little ramekin. Put it in the air fryer for about like 10 to 15 minutes, like 375, 380. In hindsight, I should have wrapped it in uh, aluminum foil so that way the heat in there gets trapped and that your cheese starts to melt because it didn't it kind of melted but not in like a gooey way I don't know it maybe also try a different cheese than brie but I want it to be fancy because France this is a perfect recreation I would say of the Mer Poulard omelette angels are weeping at what's going on here the monks are weeping. The monks are weeping in Mont Saint Michel. It looks not done. It looks not done. But <laughs> that part just, looks just done. Part, yeah, just certain parts. I mean, you want to keep some sort of parts undone because it has the foaminess. You know what I mean? Yeah, like this part is too overdone. Let me try some of the some of the foam. Better with the foam, could use a lot more butter. I'm almost positive that it was 10 minutes and not two minutes. A whipping? Yeah. Maybe some things shouldn't be recreated at home. Maybe some things should be left in France, in an island in France. I mean, it's it's an omelet. It's an omelet. It's not like I'm going to be mad at an omelet. Yeah. I really don't know what's going on here. Yeah. Is that butter? Or is that the egg? It was the egg. Mm. Bye. Thank you for your time. Ah! You're never going to want to make omelets the same way again. I feel like you will always whip your omelets just as much as I did because it really, uh, just a fluffy omelette. It's just, it can't be beat. It cannot be beat. Merci d'avoir regardé la vidéo. Uh, <laughs> you can find me at RJ Food Rocks on all the social media and our website, rjfoodrocks.com, where you can have this recipe and other recipes that we've made in the episodes prior to this. This is a new edition, right? This is RJ Food Rocks World which means that in the future we will be doing other uh, worldly um, recipes. So if you have a favorite recipe, let me know in the comments and I will do the research. I will find out how to do it at home and then we'll see how it works out. We also have a new Patreon now. If you want to support the Patreon, it's patreon.com slash rjfoodracks where you get exclusive videos every week, um, exclusive first look at new content like RJ's Food Rocks World and all the new shows that we'll be coming up with. And you are immediately in a monthly giveaway for new merchandise. So. It's a fun time over at the Patreon. Thank you to my current Patreon subscribers. Um, I could not be doing this video without you. Uh, if you'd like to see your name up here as well, patreon.com slash rjfoodrocks. Thank you again so much. Please let me know what you think. If you like this new series, if you want to see more, 
We will see you here next week with another video. Au revoir from Mont Saint Michel. Bye.